questions where to start and where to end You set in motion time and space But still you call and you call to me by name But still you call and you call to me by name Climbing the, climbing the high rocks. We all did that. You're climbing the high rocks. I can tell you one thing. When, I'm, when I was climbing, I was not focused on anything else but the high rocks. I mean, I wasn't thinking about a home. Okay, my car needs an oil change. I have uh, a deck I've got to stain. I've got a Sunday school lesson I've got to prepare. I wasn't thinking about any of those things. Sole focus was on where's my hand going? Where's my foot going? When we focus in on God by worshiping, whether that's through song, whether that's through, again, spending time in His Word, or just in thought, just the idea of going out by yourself someplace, getting away from all the noise of life, and worshiping God in your own heart, it's a heart attitude to say, okay, my focus is now on you and what you can do. So that changes our perspective. And I heard twice from, from guys that were climbing, climbing, Jacob and Garrett, when you guys got up on that very high rock, the one to the far right, you, you commented on the view was very different. And it's a view that I didn't see, and most of us didn't see, but you guys went through that hard part. You, you went through all the hardship of getting up there, but what you saw was different than what we saw. And this is what worship is. Worship is not something that's fancy or fun. It's not even sometimes exciting. What it is is, you know, I'm going to go to the hard work to concentrate, focus on God, and then eventually your perspective is changed. 